Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Fidel. I'm the head coach of Orange Theory Fitness and UTC. It's my pleasure to be here with all of you today. Orange Theory is a five zone heart rate based interval training program. Our heartbeat is to deliver proven fitness results for a healthier world. What I have for you today is a 20 minute workout. I'm going to run you through a lower body focused cardio block and following up with a straight core block. Okay, let's go ahead and get things started. First, we're going to start out with a five minute warm up. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put our left foot out in front of us, and we're going to think about scooping. Think about taking your hands, scooping past your toes, hinging at the hips, warming up the hamstrings. Once you get to the top of your stance, think about squeezing your glutes. We'll go 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. Perfect. I'm so excited to be here with all of you today. All right, let's switch sides in three, two, and one. So opposite foot out, same thing. You might start to notice that one side may be a little bit tighter than the other. Certainly my right side is. Now I'm excited that everyone is here. I'm excited that you're joining me today. I want you all to decide today, right now, what kind of workout do you want to have today? How do you want to feel at the end of this workout? All right, we're going to switch exercises here in three, two, and one. All right, time to start to stretch out our hips or warm our hips up. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into a down dog. Find yourself into a plank position. Shoot the hips up high. What you're going to do is take your left foot, place it at the left hand, and you're going to bounce three times. Then you're going to bring yourself back and do the same thing on the opposite side. And let's continue to repeat. Here for one minute. Bounce, bounce. Bring it back to down dog. Right side. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Back to down dog. So you can keep your back leg a bit straighter with each repetition. There you go. Got to warm up our core temperature because we're going to have a lot of work to take care of today. As I mentioned, our first cardio block is going to be lower body focus. All right, three, two, one. All right, we're going to maintain our down dog position, and now we're going to start to warm up our Achilles and our calves. So with that being said, you're going to get yourself down to a plank position. Shoot to the down dog, right foot over the left, and bend at the knee, and extend your hips back to the top. Men at the knees, you can place your knee down if you need to. Hike the hips up. Perfect. We're going to switch sides in three, two, one. Super important. Got to get a good dynamic warm up. How good do you want to feel at the end of this workout? Set the intention. How you decide to start the sour, it's going to make the big difference. Three, two, one. All right, perfect. So now we're going to do a dynamic quad stretch. We're going to stretch out our quad, grab your right foot, right hand, left hand up. You're going to bounce. One, two, three. Switch sides. Oop. One, two, three. Switch sides. One, two, three. Switch sides. One, two, three. Switch sides. Do this for 10 more seconds. Then I'm going to talk in a little bit more detail about what our first block is going to look like. It's going to be exactly eight minutes long. Three, two, and one. Perfect. All right, now that you're nice and warm, let's go ahead and get things started. I'm going to demonstrate for you four exercises. And then I'm going to talk to you about the duration of each of those exercises. So here's how it's going to work. First exercise is going to be high knees. Standing up tall, running in place. Don't worry about getting the knees too high, but as an option, what you can do, march in place. All right? Now, following that, we're going to go right into regular body weight squats. Making sure that the feet are going to be hip width apart. Separate the knees as you sit. Perfect. Then following that, jump squats. So now your feet are going to leave the ground a bit. Don't worry about jumping too high unless you're looking for a challenge. As an option, come on up into a calf raise instead. And then following that, we're going to go right into what's called a power sit-up. As you lay yourself down, 
Body is going to be extended out. Sit up tall, tuck the knees into the chest, extend back out. Perfect. As an option, what you could do, put the hands at the side and go right into a knee tuck with the knees slightly bent. All right, this is going to be eight minutes of work, all four exercises. We're going to go through for four rounds. Now, the first exercise, the high knees, are going to be 15 seconds. Your rest is going to be 15 seconds. The three exercises in between are always going to be 20 seconds long. All right, let's go ahead and get things started. Whew. First things first, high knees. We're gonna go for exactly 15 seconds, and then we're gonna jump right into doing our body weight squats. You with me? Of course you are. Let's go ahead and have some fun, everyone. High knees, three, two, and one. Only for 15 seconds. This is gonna be the fun part. 15 seconds goes by just like that. Here we go. Regular squats in three, Two, one. 20 seconds long now. There we go. It's all about pacing yourself. We have four rounds of all four of these exercises. There we go. In five seconds, we're now gonna try to leave the floor. We're gonna go jump squats. Three, two, one. There you go. Don't burn out too soon now. We're here for a whole while. <laughs> 10 seconds perfect now we're going to drop down to the floor power sit up in 3 2 1 time still running extend your body out hands up above you knee tuck extend back out it's all about just trying to keep your body moving for the entire duration of time you can do this alright 3 Two, and one. And just like that, round one is done. Now we get 15 seconds to recover, so don't get too comfortable. We're gonna start back with high knees. Now we're gonna increase the duration of time by 15 seconds. Here we go, three, two, one. So now we're going 30 seconds. Now, your body might be a little bit more, more, uh, more warmed up, if you're feeling like you can get your knees a bit higher, feel free to take that challenge. We're here to find what our potential is today. 10 more seconds. Perfect. All right, regular squats, 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Yes. It's almost like a recovery, right? That's what we call an active recovery at Orange Theory. Something that's gonna be challenging but it's still doable. All right, here we go. We're gonna leave the ground, going right into the jump squat. Three, two, one. There we go. You might start feeling the burn a bit now. 10 seconds to go. We got power, power setups coming up next, everyone. Stay strong, stay focused. Three, two, one. Go right into it. Lay yourself down, knee tuck, sorry, power sit up as an option. You can go knee tuck instead, everyone. 10 seconds. There you go, work, baby, work. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's a job well done. Good job. Now you get the 30 seconds extra now to recover. Feel good about that. The longer the duration of time you have to recover, the more you should give yourself some positive affirmation for putting the work in, okay? This is block number three. High knees are now 15 seconds longer. 45 seconds of high knees. All right, you with me? Of course. Here we go, friends. Three, two, one. 45 seconds long. <laughs> You're trying to just mask the intensity that you did previously. You gotta be able to take that intensity, now you gotta hold it for longer. There you go, keeping the arms pumping. As an option, remember, you can just march in place. Yeah, you starting to feel it? That's 30 down, 15 to go. See it, see it. You gotta be uncomfortable to make change. Breathe, 
We're gonna go 20 seconds of body weight squats in three, two, one. That's a job well done, y'all. Whew. Yes. Inhale as you sit. Stand. Let's go. 10 seconds. All right, here we go. Jump squats. Three, two, one. Your legs are definitely starting to fill in now. Endure, right? Positive self-talk. We set the intention. We want to feel good about ourselves. Feel good about the work we're putting in. Here we go. Power sit up. Three, two, one. Finest four. You've got a recovery coming up next. Stay with me now. Ten seconds. Yes, you're doing a great job, everyone. You're going to get 45 seconds to recover in three, two, one. Yes. Yes. Now remember, the longer time you have to recover, the more you should take it all in. All right? What thoughts are you having right now? Are they positive? Are they motivating? Are they empowering? Are they negative? All right, you got time right now. Breathe. We're halfway through this recovery. Let the heart rate settle. How well can you recover? It's not always about having a heart rate so high. It's about how well you can recover from the uncomfortable circumstances, okay? Here we go, y'all. High knees are now 15 seconds longer. You know the math. It's one minute long. One minute high knees, one minute recovery, 20 seconds of everything else. Three, two, one. 60 long seconds, baby. 60 long seconds. Yes. Duration is going to get longer. The hardest thing about the one minute intervals is that you got to endure for a bit longer. You got to spend a little bit more time with yourself being uncomfortable. All right? Positive self-talk. Encourage yourself. Here we go. That's halfway. 30 more seconds to go. Can you keep this intensity up? Yes. 15. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, don't you do it. You got to hold it. Got to hold it. Come on. Keep the arms going. Three, two, one. Oh, right into the squat. Right into the squat. It's a chance to catch your breath. Active recovery. Something that's challenging, but doable. But now it's time to get back to being uncomfortable. Three. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> We're going to go jump squats in three, two, and one. Got to go get it. Ooh. Right, come on. All right, y'all. Power set up. Three, two, one. Let's see if you can finish strong. It's only 20 seconds. Use your arms and throw your shoulders up. Yes. Oh, don't stop now. You can do it. Three, two, one. Yes. Yes. Phenomenal job, y'all. Phenomenal job. Take a moment. Catch your breath. Take it all in. We got that extra recovery to take care of, right? You all are doing an amazing job, right? It's not about the circumstances. A measure of your strength is how well you can endure those adverse situations, adverse circumstances. All right, you being uncomfortable, it's the sensation of you being alive in this moment. All right, now we're gonna move on to our next block. Happy to know you've got yourself only seven minutes of work. All right, now I'm gonna demonstrate all the exercises for you. So continue to drink your water, drink your water, catch your breath. We're gonna start sitting on the floor. Everything is ab work. Laying yourself down, knees are gonna be 90 degrees. You're gonna try to attempt to keep your shoulder blades off the ground. It's called a static crunch. You're gonna grab the back of your heels. 
All right, now as an option, lay yourself all the way down flat, touch one side, return to the flat position, and grab the other. The second exercise is called a boat hold. Now, as you sit yourself up, legs are gonna be out in front of you, and you're gonna hold. All right, following that, the sprinter sit up. Your legs are gonna be extended out. You're gonna sit yourself up, right hand, left heel, left hand, right heel. As an option, you can go right into touching just your knee as you alternate. Think about it almost like a bicycle. And then following that, right back to the boat hold, right? Now following that, we have a leg raise. Now, as you do your leg raise, your shoulder blades are now gonna stay on the floor, give your upper core a little bit of rest, because now we're gonna engage the lower extremity. Heels can come all the way to the floor, legs are extended back up above you, and pause. That's an option. Go right into doing a knee tuck, keeping the knees bent. And you might have guessed what's coming up next after that. Boat hold. You caught it. And then following that, we'll end off with a plank. And with the plank, you're gonna be down to the forearms, drop your hips low, squeeze your glutes, and try to make sure your elbows stay stacked underneath your shoulders. Now, here's the kicker. We're doing all these exercises twice. 30 seconds in duration for each exercise. Seven minutes of work. You guys ready to go? Of course you are. You're meant for this. All right, here we go. Mind over matter. Starting out, finding a sitting, ooh, sitting down on the floor. Let's go ahead and get things started. Whew. Starting out with the crunch, heel touch in three, two, and one. 30 seconds of work, everyone. Now, it's not about going quickly or going too fast. It's all about catching your breath, finding a rhythm. 30 seconds apiece. Can you keep your shoulder blades off the ground the entire time? Breathe. All right, we're going to change exercises. Going into our boat hold, starting in three, two, one. So sit up tall, think about lifting out of your pelvis. Hands are going to be down low, trying to reach through your heels. Now, the, near, the, close, the closer your knees are to your chest, you might start to feel a little bit lower engagement, okay? So breathe. That's halfway through it, everyone. All right, we have the sprinter sit up coming up next. Remember, it's for 30 seconds of work. Back to moving in three, two, one. So extend your body out, right foot, left heel, left hand, right heel. That's right. You can keep the heel to the floor, use that as leverage. You can even use your hands to throw your body up. Whew. There we go. Now when things start to get uncomfortable, it's very important you pay attention to your thoughts. Here we go, three, two, one. Right back into your boat hold, everyone, for 30 seconds. You wanna pay attention to your thoughts. You're not your thoughts. You are what you act on, okay? Thoughts are gonna come and go. Positive self-talk. I can do this. I've been doing this. I will do this. There it is, all right, going into leg raise. Three, two, one. Whoo, that feels good. <laughs> Meaning it sucks, here we go. Leg raise, heels back down. Feel free to take a recovery if you need to. You don't necessarily need to keep working nonstop, especially if your muscles start to fatigue out. There we go, halfway already. You start to feel how heavy your legs really are, huh? <laughs> All right, three, two, and one. All right, everyone, you know it's about that time. Boat hold. Now, if you are starting to feel the core tighten, you can drop one heel to the floor, all right? Or you can keep both heels to the floor and lean back slightly. You're still getting the same core engagement. So use this as your option. 10 seconds, I'm gonna bring my heels back up. I'm starting to feel it. All right, everyone, we're going into a plank for 30 seconds in three, two, one. Oh boy, here we go. Drop yourself to a plank, squeeze your glutes, hips are low. And think about tucking your rib cage into your belly button. Breathe. Oh, don't panic now. 
Don't panic. All right, we're going to be starting again right from the beginning. Static crunch, alternating heel touch for 30 seconds. Your second round, three, two, one. All right, so last round, baby. Dig deep within yourself. Dig deep. You've got it. Stay focused. Here we go, friends. Now you're really going to start to feel it in the second round. Don't become discouraged. The fatigue you feel now, it's a normal sensation. It's necessary for your personal growth. Here we go. Fold, hold. Three, two, one. Whew. I know. Oh, man, I'm feeling this one. <laughs> and I know if I'm feeling this right now, I'm just as human as you. You feel it right now. But it's all right. You know what that means? We're in it together. Let's breathe, everyone. All right, we're going to go sprinter sit up for 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Yes. All right. Right hand, left heel. I know you're starting to feel it now. And that's okay. It's okay. You don't need to be a certain level of fitness for you to give yourself permission to be proud. Be proud of the fact that you showed up, you're putting in the work. Whew, 10 seconds. All right, here we go. The dreaded boat hold in three, two, one. Whew. All right, friends, let's get going. Time's going. I'm stalling. <laughs> Whew. Oh. This is how you can't laugh, but I'm also on camera. Whew. 15 seconds. All right, we have leg raises coming up next. 30 seconds of leg raises, 30 second boat hold, 30 second plank, 90 seconds of work, and we're done and out of here. Three, two, one. Whew. All right, let's get it, y'all. Going right into the leg raise. There we go. It's all about working. Keep your body moving. Feel free to take the pause if you need to. All right, we're going to go for the last boat hold. You've got it, y'all. Three, two, and one. Oh, boy. The final boat hold. Now, if you absolutely need the support, grabbing the back of your legs is totally necessary. Do it. I right, feel good about it. Whew. Still try to lift yourself out of your pelvis. You'll start to feel a little bit more of your core engagement. You got 10 seconds, everyone. Breathe. We're going to go right into a plank next. Here we go, y'all, for 30 more seconds in three, two, one. Last one, everyone, for 30 seconds. What can you do? Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your quads. Breathe. You're in full control now. You're powerful. You're strong. You've made a difference. You've done it before. Being uncomfortable is just you being alive. Let's go. Hold it for three, two, one. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Amazing work. Absolutely amazing work. I am a sweaty mess. Oh, goodness. I can only imagine how you all are looking and feeling right now. Amazing job, everyone. Give it up for yourselves. Give it up for yourselves. I really appreciate you all being here. This is amazing. I hope you feel really good at this moment. Let's do a couple stretches, okay? Now, I know you probably just stood up, so what I want you to do is take your hands up above you, interlock your fingers, release the index, squeeze your glutes real tight, lean to one side. There you go, reach. Back to center, reach a bit higher, lean to the opposite side. Phenomenal. All right, now what you're gonna do is put your head to the ceiling, face to the ceiling, squeeze your glutes, and try to get your fingers to touch the back wall behind you. 
breathe. Don't forget to breathe now. And then go ahead, scoop your hands down low and relax. Relax your head, your shoulders. Oh boy, out of breath. Not a bad job. Go ahead and take your right foot, work your quad stretch. All right, friends, this is an absolute privilege. There you go, take it all in. The longer time you have to recover, your workout being done, you give yourself that permission to feel good about the work you put in. That momentum carries to the rest of your day, all right? Continue to stretch out whatever you need. I want you to know that through Orange Theory Fitness, we are fortunate enough, sorry, ooh, I'm still catching my breath. <laughs> through Orange Theory Fitness, we're fortunate enough to help change lives every single day through fitness. That's why Orange Theory San Diego is so proud to partner with Padres Pedal to Cause to fight for a world without cancer. The only way that we really know how to, which is the power of fitness. Last November, we participated and helped to raise over $17,000 for cancer uh, research here in San Diego. Since then, we've continued to partner and have been so excited to be part of a world without cancer day. Again, my name is Fidel. I'm the head coach of Orange City Fitness and UCC. It was an absolute pleasure to do this, to be here with you. Thank you so much for having me. You all have yourself an amazing rest of your day.